Hey guys, thank you for dropping by. This is Thea, and I'm back for another video. And for today's vlog, I'll be sharing with you about it's okay not to be okay. And no, it's not about the Korean drama uh, in Netflix. It's not about Psycho Jaman Kenshana. No, it's not. Uh, though personally, I'm watching uh, that uh, Netflix series. <laughs> But I'll be sharing with you the reason behind why it took me some time to upload another video on my channel. So what did really happen to me? Uh, why uh, it took me some time to shoot and upload another video? So if you wanted to know more, just keep on watching. But before that, don't forget to subscribe. Tap the notification bell so that you will be notified in my next video. Same as like this that you might find helpful and encouraging. So if you're ready, let's start! So, sabi ko nga kanina sa intro, it's okay not to be okay, but please, do not stay there. You hear me? Do not stay there. Wag ka magstay sa reason behind why you feel you are not okay. Dun sa three weeks na hindi ako nakapag-upload ng video sa vlog, I realized three things. Pero bukod dun sa three things na yun, isa dun sa narealize ko pa na nag-add dun sa tatlong bagay na yun. Bakit ako nag nawalan ng motivation and confidence to continue what I'm doing is because of my anxiety. So, I was already uh, overthinking to the point na I even question uh, what I'm doing. Nasabi ko kay God, Lord, Ito ba talaga yung gusto mong gawin ko or ako na lang to? Ito pa ba yung gusto mo talagang ipagawa sa akin or ako na lang to? So, yun. I'm starting to doubt on myself, on my capabilities in my calling. Why God called me to be in social media? Why why God gave me this kind of platform? Basically, I lose, I lose it. I lose the confidence that I have. I lose the drive and motivation that I had when I started this channel or this vlog. And hindi lang sa vlogging, pati sa Facebook page ko and sa Instagram page ko, hindi ako nakakapag-upload ng anything. Sobrang, sobrang nawalan ako ng drive to really upload anything motivational. I thought of it, it's because of my anxiety kasi I'm starting to overthink. So just to give you a background, I was diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder way back 2014. And I managed it with medication and a monthly checkup. Hagasa naging every three months, hagasa naging every six months, hagasa naging yearly na lang. Last 2019, I was diagnosed with sleep disorder. Why I'm sharing these things to you? Bakit ko in-expose yung sarili ko sa ganito? Why I uh, breathing this or trying to be brave to be vulnerable para isend, try to send a message across that not everyone that you see in social media are living a good life. Siguro I wanted to take this platform as well to really encourage people uh, who is experiencing anxiety, depression, or any mental disorder. Include na rin natin yung sleep disorder. If you really feel there's something wrong with me, I need to be checked. Don't be afraid to, to seek uh, professional help. And right now sa Facebook, ang dami nag-offer ng professional help for, a, for an affordable price. I just really wanted to speak to those who's experiencing de depression, anxiety, or any mental disorder that having mental disorder doesn't make you less as a person. 
and having a mental disorder doesn't make you a less Christian. And whenever people uh, say to you that it's just all in the mind, and kulang halang siguro sa faith, or kulang halang atas sa pagdevotion. Honestly, ako, when I was dealing with my anxiety, that was the most perishable season of my life. But God has just been so faithful in dropping love letters to me everywhere through His words, through my devotions. And, of course, do not leave your devotions. Kasi that's what makes you, or that's what will keep you going. But I just really wanted to remind who is experiencing a mental disorder right now that you are not a stigma. So please don't treat yourself as one. Let's be careful in the advice that we, advices that we are sharing to people. Uh, kasi baka instead of makatulong pa, baka mas dalong uh, baka discourage sa iba. So let's be careful in our advice that we're giving to people. Now, ano ba ba yung ibang reason or yung tatlong main reason bakit ako uh, nawalan ng to be honest, it's not really a good reason. Nawala ng gana mag-post ng blog and mag-update sa uh, Facebook page ko and Instagram page ko. So just for those who doesn't know yet or doesn't know me personally, I actually run a page called Achi's Corner. So I'm running it in Facebook and Instagram. And my purpose initially, why I started that page is to really speak life and encourage them. And that three weeks, God made me realize that the reason why I'm losing motivation and my drive to really um, continue what I'm doing for two years now is because I'm no longer functioning on functioning on His original design for me. Ibig sabihin, nawawala na ako sa original purpose bakit ko siya sinimulan. And I'm starting to lead towards or lean towards na finding purpose and validation of what I do through likes, shares, and followers of those pages. Aww. So, yun. <laughs> Grabe siya. And these three major things that I realize is yung naging bunga nung pagkawala ko dun sa original purpose ko. And the first thing that I realized during that three weeks was I became insecure. Insecurity. I became insecure and I start to compare my progress or my page progress from other people. Kasi I started this page way back June 30, 2018. So, I've been running this page for two years now. And as I check other pages that I am following, sila naka, naka 1,000 followers na, yung iba naka 100 followers na. While I was browsing my Facebook, so there, this page, uh, Milestone, uh, I guess most of you are familiar with Galawang Jesus. Um, they just reached 1 million followers in Facebook. Congratulations, Galawang Jesus. Wow! And I personally knew the people behind it. And I just really admire these people. So, um, so when I saw that, uh, I became insecure. I said, Lord, why did I get so followers? I was consistent naman ako mag post kanya. Then, God made me realize I'm becoming insecure because I'm um, starting to uh, put my validation and find my worth with likes, shares, and um, people that will react on my post. So, yun. God reminded me that He put me in this platform not to be an influencer but rather an inspirer that his original design for me 
is not to be favors, but to speak light and encouragement. Pero, dahil nga, nawala ako sa original purpose ko, I became insane. Why I'm sharing this? Perhaps to really speak to people who will be watching this video na not everyone that you see online are living a perfect life. Mukha man silang palaging masaya, palaging um, nagpo-post na magagandang bagay. If following them makes you insecure about your life, I guess you might want to re-evaluate. Hindi sila ang problema, honestly. Ikaw. Kaya ka lagi insecure kasi perhaps ikaw yung nai-naiging problema. Perhaps you are putting your validation to the, to the tangible things. To uh, temporary things. So, this influencers, this faces doesn't have any problem. It's really about me. So, ako yung naging problema ng mga nakaraang ko. So, ikaw din, I hope you will start to evaluate yourself. Kasi siguro ako insecure kasi hindi naman sila yung problema. Baka ako. Or, baka kaya ka bad trip sa mga nakikita mong post sa Facebook na um, feeling mo bragging about their their food, their clothes, their signature bags, their travels. Baka naman kasi hindi naman talaga sila nagbabrag. They just really wanted to share it. And, honestly, Facebook is a social media platform. So, bakit ka may inis? Facebook mo yun. Ha 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 insecure is mali na yung source of validation. Second, I became unconsciously prideful. Me. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> so, God made me realize that I became unconsciously prideful. Paano? Um, I unconsciously uh, placed myself in a pedestal wherein I have the thoughts na na whatever I do, it became successful kasi ako yung gumawa. Kasi magaling ako. Yay. <laughs> so, and uh, one thing I realized, it's much scarier, mas nakakatakot pala yung unconsciously prideful ka na. Kesa dun sa, alam mo sa sarili mong ma-pride ka talagang tao. <laughs> kasi you don't know, akala mo, okay ka pa yung pala, unconsciously prideful ka na. So, what I did, I took a step back and I ask God to evaluate myself, to have a heart check. Baka kailangan mo mga heart check. God made me realize that noong nag-devotion ako noong August 3, everything comes from God. Um, our talents, our skills, all of those came from God. And joy and peace also comes from God. And everything that we experience are all comes from God. So, God uh, led me to this verse in Proverbs 16.3. Turn to the Lord for help in everything you do, and you will be successful. So, faith without action is dead, definitely. But it is God who will make everything successful. Yes, you are good. You are magaling ka. O hindi ko, din, hindi ko tinatanggal yun sa picture. But perhaps you are being unconsciously prideful. And then the last that God made me realize, I invalidate my small and humble beginnings. I became too impatient. Lahat ng successful, they start small. And I became too impatient with the process and with the progress. But when God reminded me to look back from 2018 that I started my page, from today, and from the last month that I started vlogging, and today na i-upload ko tong video na to. There's a progress. And honestly, a slow walk is still a progress. Just what uh, God made me realize uh, those three weeks, I hope this video will speak life and encouragement to you too. Huwag mong maliitin yung small beginnings. And slow walk is still a progress. And take your time to really appreciate the journey and not just the destination. So, enjoy me yung journey, hindi lang yung destination mo. Enjoy me yung process, hindi lang yung end goal. So, that's it. I hope you guys are encouraged with this vlog. And, 
I hope I ha uh, I was able to speak life and encouragement to those people that will be watching this vlog. And I would love to hear your thought thoughts. No doubt. And I would love to hear your thoughts. So just feel free to comment down below your takeaways. And also, um ilalagay ko rin sa description box yung mga link na nakita ko sa Facebook wherein you could uh, directly reach out to this Facebook page uh, for consultation and for uh, if you just need someone to talk to. And if, if you need someone to talk to as well, feel free to reach me out uh, through my social media platform, either on my Facebook, in my in, on my Instagram, or on my email. I would really love to hear from you directly. So, you are. And vlog ko lang. I actually have a vlog also uh, that is in WordPress. Kaka-publish ko lang din ng uh, recent article doon. So, uh, it's entitled New Hope. I hope uh, you will take time to uh, read that uh, article too. And I hope it would speak life and encouragement uh, to everyone that will be reading it. I'll be sharing as well the link of that blog or uh, of that article on the description box below. So that's it guys. I hope you were been encouraged with everything that I just have shared with you today. And I hope somehow meron kayo yung takeaway. Hope po yung i-judge. <laughs> so that's just me and my be me being insecure sometimes. And I guess no one is um exempted uh, on being insecure, feeling insecure from time to time. And whatever you feel is valid. But as I mentioned earlier, please do not stay there. Huwag mong hayaan na in invalidate ka ng reason mo kung bakit hindi ka okay. Yes, it's okay to acknowledge that you feel down, you feel sad, and you feel disappointed. But please do not stay there. I wanted to hear your thoughts as well about this uh, video. That's it, guys. I hope you were being encouraged. Um, till our next breakout session, um, let's take time to pause and break from our usual routine, shall we? So again, this is Thea, your host, now signing off. God bless everyone. I just wanted to remind everyone that you are loved and you are worth it. So God bless and see you on my next vlog. Bye-bye!